Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of October 7th. This week, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you start with this soul family card. It says, prepare to meet those who are, share a similar frequency level to you. Uh, you have this divine infinity. It says, challenge yourself to go beyond your limitations and you'll find your infinity. I think it is a great time for people to go to try to like push their limits, you know, in some ways. Uh, I, you know, one thing I will say is that it's kind of like a weird energy because I think on one hand, the universe is telling people to like not to work too hard. But, but on the other hand, it's like to push yourself, then obviously you have to work hard. I really, I think it's all the Libra energy saying, you know, balance. It's like if you're working hard, make sure you're playing hard and, you know, all that other good stuff, Libra. So as long as you do that, I think you'll be fine, of course. But, um, you know, I would just make sure that you're balancing things out in your life. Um, and, and the other thing is, is as long, you know, like I have said to others, as long as the work that you're doing uh, provides more energy back to you, then, you know, then that type of work is fine as well. I think that um, hard work is really only um, destructive if you're wor hard working for no reason, you know, if you're not getting anything out of it, if you're burning yourself out. So as long as you're not doing that, I feel like you'll be fine. Uh, you have the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Uh, the Empress, of course, well, I mean, you know, a lot of wealth here. Um, you have the Empress, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Definitely could be a change in your fortunes. It's a little bit surprising. Every once in a while, like maybe like two times a year, uh, I kind of really feel like that I'm surprised by the readings because they just aren't, don't go the way that I think they're going to go, right? And, uh, you know, this week has surprised me a little bit because there has definitely been a focus on, you know, like wealth building or improving finances and things like that. So uh, j I just, you know, don't really see it in the um, astrology, I guess. And, you know, I haven't necessarily felt it, but um, again, it's showing up. So like I said, it's kind of like a little surprising to me, um, but not a bad thing, of course, if you're, you know, Im improving your finances or if you're more focused on uh, creating more wealth. And again, wealth doesn't even have to be money. It could be, you know, love, happiness, joy, peace, like whatever, whatever type of abundance you want in your life uh, could be a focus for you of, uh, you know, kind of like really increasing it or improving it in some way. Uh, and, you know, the other thing I will say is, of course, I'm doing this on October 2nd, the day of the Libra eclipse. So that Libra eclipse, Libra is Venus, you know, ruled by Venus. And, you know, that could be one of the things that is um, really, um, you know, getting you to uh, want like just a nicer energy in your life. And so I feel a lot of you could be doing that. Uh, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about enthusiasm and following your enthusiasm. I mean, this is kind of like the secret sauce for the next 10 years at least, uh, it, it, like in life in general for pretty much everyone. So if you follow your enthusiasm and you do things that, again, bring more joy, happiness, peace into your life, then you're just going to have a better life. And, um, you know, I, I think that it's kind of like obvious to say that, but really it, it, it's not because I think we're in a time to, where we have two worlds that we're in right now. It's like one world is the logical world that everybody where you follow all the rules and you do all the things that people are supposed to do right and the other world is this one right here more joy more peace uh doing things that make you feel good and, and things like that this might not make logical sense because it's like if you're like a doctor for example and you make a bunch of money but you hate your job and but um you what you really want to do is you know start a cupcake factory or something like that in your home it's like that's over here. That is more joy, more happiness, more peace. People are going to call you crazy for leaving behind a job that pays you a bunch of money to do this. But, you know, that's a simple example. And I think it's more complicated than that. But what I will say is that the people that do this are going to make more money. <laughs> Mark my words, moving forward into the future and are going to be more successful. So I think we really need to kind of follow our bliss right now. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles, which again is focused on wealth. He is the card of wealth and uh, creating wealth in your life. So a lot of, and he's also the card of structure. You know, I look at him as being a person who has good structure in his life. He has a good like daily routine and all this other stuff. You know, one thing I will say is that we have Saturn and Pisces and Saturn is currently retrograde. So for a little bit of time now, I think that it's a really good time to come up with a um, daily routine. For example, that that is like a type of structure that would be 
be very beneficial for everyone right now. Um, you know, because when you think about it, like I'm a Pisces and like I'm all over the place, right? And, um, you know, so that Saturn energy is encouraging that type of discipline of not being all over the place, especially when it comes to your dreams because of Pisces. And so if you could come up with some sort of routine, it would probably make you like 20 times more successful instead of like being all over the place. So let's see. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, th uh, this is something that I think a lot of people could be doing right now as well, like holding on too tightly to a little bit. You know, because we're in a time of restriction, I think it makes, if we have something that we want, we don't want to let go of it, even though there could be something better. And there's a difference between like thinking the grass is greener, but also limiting yourself, right? And so I, I think people need to realize that, again, if they're like a doctor and they're not happy and they're miserable every single day, that it might be time to uh, take that risk to follow your bliss, right? And to, you know, even though you think you have something, maybe you really don't. Uh, with the page of wands, you have the four of wands. Four of wands can represent marriage. There's a little bit of love here, but, you know, really, I think the four of wands could be commitment to anything. And it says, if you commit to the page of wands, to whatever your heart is telling you to commit to, then it will be successful. You will, uh, you know, find a way to be very successful. And again, I don't think there's ever been a time uh, like today. Like there are doctors, speaking of doctors, on YouTube who probably make way more money with their YouTube than they do uh, being a doctor because they took their passion and they turned it into something else. Like, you know, this has never existed in history. So, you know, I think that no matter what you do, you can turn it into something very successful. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords says, um, you know, is only looking at one way of doing things. So when it comes to your finances, this can represent staying flexible, uh, just staying open to other solutions or uh, trying new things. Again, who, who knows? You know, maybe you come up with an idea, a different way of like saving money or paying off your bills. And again, the Eight of Swords just says, stay open to all ways of doing things because you never know what could happen. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this self-regulation card. You also have this uh, moon called card that says meant to be on it. So something is probably meant to be in your life. I feel a lot of you probably have been learning self-regulation because you have the hermit. You know, the hermit has been through a dark night of the soul. He has been through something challenging and uh, he, now he has found his inner light. So he has found a source of comfort. He's actually found two sources of comfort because he, he has that staff that he's holding on to, but also his lantern. And I feel that a lot of you maybe have been through something difficult that has taught you a lot uh, that is leading to you know more success in your life or um, is leading to you being more independent. You know, it's interesting that we have the devil and the seven of swords here. Obviously, I would be careful of any liar, cheater, stealers in your life or anyone who is toxic. You know, this uh, simply could say that you need to make sure that you avoid this type of energy. Uh, the other thing I would say though, is that these people, they have these animal horns on their heads and the devil can represent our baser instincts or kind of like our root chakra energy. And sometimes I feel with the devil, we have to take that energy, bring it up to our heads and express something into the world. And the seven of swords, yes, it can represent lying, cheating, stealing, but it is also a card of tactics. And really the seven of swords is a good card. Uh, golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. So it might be a good time for you to be tactical. You know, it's a card of uh, doing things in a different way. And we also have the Empress here. So putting these three pieces uh, together, this could represent needing to find creative solutions to anything that you're dealing with. Um, you know, he has these polka dots on his cloak. Polka dots in the tarot can represent taking things too seriously. And it can also say that he needs to be more playful or he needs to have more fun in his life. And so I feel for a lot of you, this could represent really, um, you know, having more, what I'm saying is, you know, Empress, Devil, and the Seven of Swords can say, you need to have a more creative, um, more fun, more playful approach to the things that you're working on uh, right here with the Eight of Pentacles. And if you do that, then you will be a lot more successful. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Nine of Cups. It's funny that I said independent. All the nines kind of represent independent energy. There's only one person on all the all the nines. And so I feel for a lot of you that, uh, you know, the Nine of Cups is about self-fulfillment. Uh, the Empress is about self-care. And so I think it would be a great time for you to focus on yourself. Like I said, there is a little bit of love here, but I really feel this is uh, more of an all about you reading here, Libra. And, it, and you know, it's really focusing on your energy. So I think that fulfilling yourself would be a good idea. Uh, with the devil, you have the Empress again. 
So that's nice. Uh, having the Empress twice, obviously, is very good. Definitely a lot of ab abundance. But also exactly what I said. I knew that these three cards were connected. I literally said it. So, you know, I think that embracing creative solutions, coming up with creative solutions, those are going to be the things that work, you know, and maybe not necessarily logical solutions. Uh, I also feel this is just great for abundance. Uh, with the um, Seven of Swords, you have the Two of Swords. Uh, these two cards are also connected this way. The Two of Swords is this or that thinking, but the Two of Swords, she has this new island behind her, and it represents like a third place solution, as I love to say. And I'm a big fan of third place solutions right now, especially when Pluto goes into Aquarius to stay for like 19 years when it moves in in November. Um, you know, I think it's all about third place solutions. Like most people think this or that, but there's probably something else that's better um, that is going to lead to um, you know a, a, a better outcome, right? And we see this a lot in the world. Uh, we're, we're actually seeing a lot of this or that, but really I think what we will see during Pluto and Aquarius is completely different solutions to things that are happening. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this T-Rex card. It says alchemy, raw power, and base chakra. You also have this crocodile skink and mantis. It says misdirection, boundaries, and vocalization. So definitely a time to speak up for you here, Libra, and to uh, kind of like share with people how you're feeling or what you're thinking. And I think that would be a good idea as well. I also think with the misdirection thing on the crocodile skin card there, that it's saying, um, you know, keeping your ideas to yourself. It's like making sure that no one knows, uh, making sure that people don't really know um, like what you're doing. And it's not like trying to be secretive or trying to be toxic. It ju it's just more about, you know, protecting your ideas. You have the Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups says, follow your heart. So like I said, with that page of wands, the queen of cups, she listens to her intuition. Of course, she is very intuitive, but really she's looking at that cup. And I always say that that cup really looks like a trophy and it kind of represents the fact that she really values her, her feelings. She really values her emotions above all else. And so she is following her heart to whatever she needs to follow it to. And I think that doing that would be a great practice for you at this time. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, I like the Eight of Pentacles. You know, it's hard, diligent work, but he only has one more pentacle uh, to complete, and then he will be done. I always look at the Two of Pentacles as material success on the horizon. So there could be a lot more abundance or a lot more success coming in for you in the near future uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you could be finding better ways to be successful as well, especially if you're being creative, if you're being flexible, um, if you are, uh, you know, uh, not necessarily being logical, right? Which I don't think is always true uh, for the most part. But, you know, I think we are in a little bit of a dreamy time. So we are in a time where some of those less logical, more creative, more, um, you know, more dreamy ideas can work out really well for us. And this could be you just getting better results. And like I said, I've been surprised this week by the amount of readings that have really said that people are getting better results. So I don't know, it could just be a collective energy where people are getting better results for what they're doing. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. Uh, again, I see this a lot. I, you know, I've seen this energy quite a bit this year, and I think that creating balance, of course, is important. You know, definitely today on the Libra eclipse, but also eclipses can last for like six months. For like so, for like the next six months after, I think it could be a really good time to make sure that you are, um, you know, balancing your energy and focusing on balancing things out. That will probably lead to the most success. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is about getting started, right? So if you have these, if you are a doctor and you want to start baking cupcakes, you know, start small. Start making cupcakes for your friends. And here's the thing: when you start with your friends, if your friends tell you your cupcakes suck, then you're not going to sell them, right? So, <laughs> you know, it's like maybe you need to start small with your friends and then kind of like build up from there. And that's what I would do uh, with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, it can represent heartbreak and healing a heartbreak. Again, I'm wondering if this is more of that eclipse energy. Um, the you know your this eclipse today is a solar eclipse. Solar eclipses shine a light on something, and so this could even be a past heartbreak, or uh, it doesn't. Even, it could be a heartbreak in business, right? It's like maybe you worked really hard in a business and it didn't work work out for you, and now it's being triggered, right? Even if it happened years ago, you this could be being triggered now. Uh, but the Two of Swords would say that you're finding another way to do things. So this could be, be you know, I, I kind of feel that. That's why I'm saying this on the Three of Swords, that there could be something triggering that's being revealed to you, but it's being revealed to you so that you can find that you can find something else, find something better. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Fool. 
And the fool says, you're ready, and it's time to take a leap of faith. You know, the two of pentacles, it, he is like trying to make a choice here um, between these two things. And the fool can say, it's time to make a choice. And so I feel for some of you, maybe you, maybe you are making a choice uh, between the two worlds that exist. And, you know, like I said, the two of pentacles can kind of be a little bit of this and that energy. And you have the two of swords twice, which can also be this or that. But uh, the fool is like saying, you're ready to make your decision. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this uh, full moon in Aquarius. It says, show the world the real you. You also have the third quarter moon. It says, adjustments are required. I think the whole entire reading says adjustments are required. You have all this creativity, and you have like the eight of swords as well. And sometimes we bump up against an obstacle, and we just have to kind of find a way to get around the obstacle. So that's what this could be saying. Uh, you have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Two of Swords and the good stuff would say that you are discovering a third place. You are discovering a better way to do anything it is that you are working on. You know, what's really interesting as well is that I feel like something is going to work out a lot better than you think, but I also feel like you have to do it. Like if you have a, a, a unique you know, a unique inspiration or a unique plan for how you're going to accomplish something. I feel like this is saying like, you are right. You know, your plan is correct, but you also have to do it. If you don't do it, then I feel like you're just going to be sitting right here. If you do do it, I feel that you're going to get to that, you know, that third place and, and experience a much better result. Uh, you have the seven of wands. Seven of Wands, a card of conviction. It says, when you know that you know that something is going to be successful for you, then it will be successful for you. So the Seven of Wands is really about like deep held beliefs and really believing something on a very deep level. So I feel like the deeper you believe that you can be successful, the, the more likely it is that you will be successful uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. So I think that your beliefs are important here uh, with this Seven of Wands energy. Uh, but it's coming up in the good stuff. So it kind of does say that you do believe in yourself or at least you are um, you know practicing believing in yourself uh, you also have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune can represent a change in your fortunes which I, I kind of said at the beginning of the reading that there could be some sort of change in your fortunes uh, I think we are also in a time where we really need to double down on our success that's why I say it in every single reading because we really need to duplicate our success. And you might say that sounds simple, but like I said to everyone, you know, I work with a bunch of YouTube groups. I teach a bunch of classes on YouTube when I'm not doing this. And um, I cannot tell you how many people, <laughs> I, I look at their channel, they'll have a video that blows up and then they completely do something completely different. They move in like a completely different direction. I'm like, you have something that's working. You need to keep doing this right here. So I think, and again, I'm not picking on anyone here, um, you know, but what I am saying is like, we don't necessarily necessarily see it. I don't see it sometimes when something is working that I need to double down on. So, you know, I think it's super important that we pay attention to those things where we can create that moment momentum. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the King of Swords bossing up. Again, this could just be you showing up here in this position. I kind of get that feeling. I feel that this is just you bossing up. Again, I, I really feel this reading is all about you. I think it's just an independent reading. It's talking about your energy. And I really do feel that you could be bossing up here. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. The whole entire reading is kind of saying that there is some sort of change in direction. It's like you have two worlds uh, that you could live in, and I feel like you need to pick the pick the world that you really want to live in and, and, and make it happen. It's like we have that choice. So that's what I would do here with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have three cards. I'm going to take them all. You have the Death card, the High Priestess, and the Hangman. So for a lot of you, uh, Death card, of course, would just be a big change that's happening, in which we saw. Uh, the Hangman and the High Priestess would represent trusting your intuition, but also gaining new perspectives. Hangman is looking at something from upside down. So it could be a really good time for you to, uh, again, anything that you're working on or doing in your life, to just look at it from another perspective. And I think that's the thing that will make it uh, much more successful. You have this archway card that says new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Uh, the whole entire reading says this, that there is clearly a new opportunity or, or, or multiple opportunities that are being presented. 
Uh, you have this bridge that says successfully overcoming a problem. So if you are dealing with any problems or challenges, uh, you will be able to overcome those things very quickly. Probably going to be a third place solution, I would argue. So if you are dealing with a problem, it's probably going to uh, happen with a third place solution. Sorry, I, I just got a Roomba and I don't know if you can hear that, but it's bumping into my door right now. I apologize. Uh, you have this fan card that says romance, celebration, and party. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, like I said, just because it's an independent reading doesn't mean that you won't have love either. So if you want love, I would. this this is my card of socializing to find love. So a lot of you could be finding love through uh, being social, meeting new people, you know, all that other good stuff. Uh, you have this wall card. It says misunderstandings on it. I, I would be very clear at this time. You know, after October 11th, the personal planets start going retrograde. So uh, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, uh, not all at once. In between, you know, October 11th and the end of the year, all three will have gone retrograde. And so, again, I think, you know, I would be clear about your communications. Uh, and, and also what I want to say is, I, like, I wouldn't share too much. You know, you have this uh, this misdirection card. And so, you know, again, I, I feel like that card is saying, it's not saying, like, misdirect people. I don't think it's saying, you know, do something sneaky or something like that. I feel like it's saying keep your things to yourself. Uh, you have this rabbit card that says too much concern with sexual matters. Like I said, I would be careful of a past person. Uh, or maybe I didn't say that, but devil, seven of swords, not yuck, right? Not good. So I would avoid that. But uh, this is a pretty good reading here, Libra. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.